Hi, this is Aussie Brick Chick here and I'm looking at the display of Ali. Hello Ali. Hello, how are you? And I'm really uh, loving this one. It's called The Strange Journey of Dr. Picasso. And it's definitely a strange journey indeed. So where did you get inspired to start with this? So the inspiration came from our original minifigure that we made up, my son and I, called Dr. Picasso. Oh yes. So we had a tiny little scene built around this guy a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and we thought he was so bizarre that he needed a full-size scene of his own. So oh. originally it was just a small base plate size scene yeah. and then it grew from there. Uh, the idea being that it was going to be something completely crazy, something completely zany. with and colourful. Colourful and really different building techniques uh, and different ideas that we could throw in there. There's definitely a lot of ideas, a lot of colour. Colour, we wanted it to splash with colour, so we've gone with a, a cartoon style of building. They're very simple mm -hmm. designs, but really easy to see colours. Oh, they pop. They pop, yes. And the idea was that they were bleeding into the ground. So mm -hmm. you can see we've got oh, the, the colours of each building are bleeding down into the base. That's, that's a bit um, familiar to a, a video game I played once where you would uh, throw colours at things and it would splash uh, and, yeah. and mix and stuff, so that's very cool. So the idea is that Dr. Picasso is coming out of his teleportal. Oh the, yeah, that's the, a teleportal. The, the mm -hmm. Octane brand teleporter. The Octane brand, yeah. <laughs> and he's arrived in this really bizarre land uh -huh. and he's going to make his way around and have a look at all the different things that are in there. So. And you've got sort of some themes going on, so you've got a bit of like space. We've got a bit of classic space happening here. Uh, no. We've got the you old know, classic space version of a Dalek. <laughs> and we've got a classic space lawnmower, uh, classic space spider, uh, and a few other little aliens from different themes. Fill out the scene. Yep, and that's Benny's house, Benny's space house. As Benny's we call it. space house, complete with Martians and. Oh my goodness, something creeping around the side there. Yeah, a lot of tentacle <laughs> creatures coming out of the hole. Lots of tentacles. These guys are having a good time. They're just sitting back watching the kids play. They're playing ball. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Very nice. I uh, see you've even got dinosaurs on your display. Yeah, there's a few dinosaurs in here. Uh, this one's eating a few hot dogs. Mm -hmm. The Pied Piper of hot dogs oh, is leading the hot dogs it. away. But unfortunately, the dinosaurs and also Homer Simpson are trying to eat them as they escape. And you got Miss Pac Man back there. Miss Pac Man's there, but instead of eating little dots, she's eating heads. Eating heads. <laughs> which have most likely come out of the volcano head. Volcano head. There's so much to look at. Have you got Baby's First Mech? I've yes. seen that one before. Yes, Baby's First Mech is uh, a very cute little thing that we built. Uh, we, we, we just don't want to wreck it, so we recycled it into this Is scene. that Walter White there? It is Walter and Jesse from Breaking Bad. <laughs> Walter's got his, his pile of money and Jesse's got the the, the blue uh, products ice. that they make. <laughs> <laughs> ice, ice, baby. Mm -hmm. you're, the oh. first, you're the first person that's picked that one up so far. Dinosaur mech. That is cool. That's, that'd be one of my favourites on here. Is that a, a, a monster of some kind there? This is a this one down here. Yeah. Yeah, that's a mixel. That's one of the it's a one of the mixels from one of the series that came out. So oh, Jake well, and Finn something. It. He's eating a few people. <laughs> so uh, we've got some Angry Birds. Angry Birds, yes. We've, we've designed this little scene so it looks like a, a shot from the game. Yeah, the, it does. It really does. And like, I like how you've got the Angry Bird leaping through the air from. Um, he's flying from out of being, the, the catapult. Yeah, catapulted. Yep. That's very clever. What else have we got going on here? What's this guy here with the so hats? This, this is the, uh, the scientist and he's shrinking this guy down so he goes smaller and smaller. Oh, very clever. Yeah. And chicken soup guy's getting chased. He's getting chased but he's also chasing a little chicken of his own. <laughs> There's a lot going on in here. Yeah, and then moving along, ice we're cream farm. going to meet the ice cream farm. This is where ice creams come from. Of course. Yeah. Naturally. As you can see, we've got a lot of ice creams. There's a couple that have gone off in there. 
there's some mouldy ones that haven't been harvested in time. Oh! And we've got a few characters around the outside of the farm who are stealing some ice creams. There's a, a little boy here who's stolen his ice cream. And there's, some, <laughs> there's some flies and a dinosaur also trying to steal some ice creams. And everyone's running away over here. What's going on well, over here? They're running away from the terrible, horrifying bagpipe player. Ah! Must be very, very bad bagpipe playing. Oh, we got laser sharks! Yep, up the back we have an army of sharks with lasers and they're battling Minecraft zombies. I'm not sure who's winning, but there's a lot of broken parts lying around. <laughs> yes. Uh, See, so up the back we've got a bit of cloud cuckoo going on. Yeah, we've got a bit of a party happening up there for a few of the colourful minifigure characters. Oh, and, uh, Unikitty. Unikitty is joining in. There's a couple of other characters sliding down the rainbow to come and join them. That's very cool. And you've got a mountain at the back there? Yep, we've just got a mountain covered in crazy characters. It's uh, also leaking some sort of pink liquid. I'm not sure what it is. Someone suggested it was strawberry milk. Yeah, Sounds this smoke might be strawberry milk. That's probably the nicest way to, to name yeah. it. <laughs> and you've got lots, it, of, uh, lots of eyes. It seems to be having an effect on the local plant life, which are all growing eyes now. And what have we got down in this corner? Down here we've got a bit of an ocean scene happening. There's some, uh, some more crazy characters coming up out of the ocean. Mm -hmm. We've got a, a little gathering of frogs. And these strange characters, which we just call banana workers, they all have one eye and are holding bananas. Ah, uh, banana workers. Yeah. And so Shaggy has found the ultimate. Shaggy has found the enormous hot dog. The ultimate hot dog. And he's very happy about that. <laughs> and this oh. is us in minifigure form, displaying at a Lego show. That is very cool. All right. Thank you so much, Lee. That's okay. You're welcome. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. And this is probably my favourite of the whole show here oh, today. Thank you very much. We put a lot of uh, imagination into it. We're trying oh, to, definitely. The idea was to inspire kids to build something a little different with yes. their Lego uh, and just not to uh, build the standard stuff. Yes. Use your imaginations and yes. look what comes out. Beautiful colours and uh, wonderful stories and uh, imagination. Okay, well, we'll leave it there. All right, thank you very Thanks much. for everything. And for everyone who's watching, get inspired, get creative, build. play with colour, use build. your imagination. Use your imagination. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Bye.